Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today's video, I'll be unboxing and reviewing this, the White Ranger from Hasbro's Power Rangers Lightning Collection line. This is basically a six inch Legends type of figure and should scale well with uh, Hasbro's Marvel Legends figures, their Star Wars Black, and even their new Overwatch uh, line. I forgot what they call them, but this is them doing Power Rangers Legends style. I got only two of these figures because uh, there's a bunch of them in the in the first wave, but honestly, there's only two that I really like, which is the White Ranger and Lord Zed. For but that will be a review for another day. Okay, so here's the White Ranger out of the box. He comes with this little effect or a blast effect of some sort. Not sure how it goes on or is used as there's no photo of it being used on the box itself but there's a little slot here i wonder if this is for the sword i don't know but yeah okay and he also comes with two extra hands and their closed fist here comes with saba his trusty uh short sword nice painted detail on it and a very clean paint job i like that only thing um i i think they could improve is it'd be nice if they painted the eyes but uh maybe that's a little bit too much to ask because it's really small might be something i'll do down the line later on and it comes with his uh unmasked head if you took out the mask this is what you'll get tommy oliver also known as uh jason david frank and I gotta say that I I'm glad Hasbro uh, is has this well, owns Power Rangers because they really do a good job in um, in my opinion they do a really good job in getting the likeness of an actor or actress when they do Marvel Legends and they um, have them unmask and it's nice that they can bring that same kind of uh, craftsmanship to Power Rangers because I believe with the rest of the Lightning Collection whenever there's uh, Power Rangers are probably going to have an alternate head for them, which is really cool. And last but not least, the figure itself. And yes, I really like it. It is a very nice figure. Um, I love how clean the paint app is on this. And I, I was a bit worried at first because um, a couple of months ago, I got the Captain Marvel Legends figure and her paint apps were a little messy for my liking but this this one i can't i i don't see any fault with it it's there it's super clean now let's get a little close-up look here and here you can see the head like i was worried that these gold lines here would end up being messy but as you can see it is very clean nicely done even here on the chest on the arm and and especially being a white figure you know you don't want it to be messy because that it, it will sh it will really stand out when with when, if the paint is just splattered on you know what i mean so with the arms very nice the belt and the boots all in all really pleased with the figure just the way it looks i like it a lot very nice and clean a lot of nice attention to detail this upper part here is is a like a soft plastic like rubbery almost i'm a little concerned with time if it um there's there's some soft plastics for me that uh with time becomes very tacky and i'm hoping that this doesn't happen with this that that doesn't happen with this but it's you know it's really nice it, i guess it helps with posability okay and uh speaking of posability let's go on to articulation so let's start with the head the head is on a you know, nice ball type of joint that also has this little uh, um, tilt here so you can have him look up look down and rotate 360. the arm you can rotate 360 as well now my biggest gripe is this part the shoulder only goes up that high but there's a part a different kind of articulation that well, that's new to me that i've not seen before with any of my marvel legends figures and but just note i don't have a ton of them but it can swivel up here so you see over here you can uh actually let me see if i rotate it this way for better he has this this little swivel here 
that he can go back and forth. So he can actually bring his shoulders back like this or move them forward like that, which is kind of neat. I mean, I, I think they may, they may have added that because, you know, with Power Rangers, they do a lot of martial arts. So maybe it helps get them with those poses better which if they did that for that, those reasons is nice and you know that kind of also helps with my gripe about the the shoulder only going this high like look at that just that high if it can go higher no no oh, it stops i i don't know if it's just let me see oh no it can go higher <laughs> these things are so tight okay so it can go this high oh okay. my goodness I, you know, there's a little fear in forcing things because you don't want to break it, right? So the shoulders go up this high. Nice. The arms can rotate. And I guess it's, if it's this high, you can rotate it 360. He does have uh, two points of articulation at the elbow. So he can go like this. The wrist can rotate 360. And, of course, he can... Uh, do this at the wrist all the way like that hey right, on the legs he can do almost do the splits he can kick this high and the legs can go back this much he can bend at the knee like this he does have 360 degree rotation at the thigh and the foot he can bend uh, back this far and bend up this much and he does have this little swivel back and forth if i can get that there you go all right that's for the foot now the torso can rotate 360 here and does have little side bend and upper bend back and forth as well and then you can do ab crunches here see like this and back like that all in all very nice i like that so the art as far as articulation go i love the articulation on this figure let's uh swap the hands there he is with his closed fist. Again, same articulation here. He can bring his fist in like that, bring it out. I'm going to take it out on this one because I want the closed fist on one side and the open one so he can hold his sword. There you go. And let's get Saba in his hand. There you go. Here is here he is with Saba in hand. Very nice. And let's pop out the head. Okay, there you go. White Ranger. With his helmet. I gotta say, it's it's. I like it. It's really nice. I mean, I'm so glad that Hasbro got the license or owns. Sorry, now owns Power Rangers because now they can do, give them to me the justice they deserve in terms of quality of figures. Still don't know what to do with this. Ah, uh, you know, I'm gonna look around and look online to see what ideas other folks have with this. Okay, well, that is it for this video. Um, hopefully, I'll get my review, my normal review table um, sorted out soon. Because um, well, uh, I got to be honest, this is a little harder to review from this angle. Anyway, that's all. Thanks for watching. Yes. What do kids call it? ASMR?